hello and welcome to Phoenix Point, a game very much inspired by XCOM, which shouldn't need an introduction. But in case you were living under a rock, it's a turn-based tactical strategy in a way, and with uh, base building, pretty damn cool. And Phoenix Point also aspires to one-up the already very successful formula. So let's jump into it. And I already did the tutorial. And I played a little bit on Hero, just a tiny bit, just to like set up the the game so we can uh, get into it. I actually had like uh, some kind of a uh, issue, and because of that I had to restart. <clears throat> but like I fought like one or two fights, so I mean, it's not a big deal. And that I already confirmed that Hero is too easy, so we're gonna be going on Legend. I know. We're not gonna do the tutorial, but um, I'll tell you guys whatever that needs to be said. Tutorial is boring, honestly. It's just, it has nothing to do with the game. Tutorial is always boring in every single game. So, let's hop into it. It's fine, you know, it's informative, but it's also, like, it's a tutorial, okay? <clears throat> Most of the interesting technologies possessed by the factions, to get access to it, you need to ally with them or steal it from them. Ooh. I like both of those options. <laughs> Can I just be friends with everybody? The Phoenix Project was founded on October 24th, 1945. The Second War to end all wars was over, but there were those who understood that we could no longer afford to think in terms of nations and empires. For a time, the Phoenix Project successfully navigated the political conflicts of its era. That was our golden age. Phoenix Project operatives scoured the world for clues. We had bases in two dozen countries. Even the heavens were not off limits. But out there, on the far side of the moon, began our downfall. The failure of the Phoenix 2 mission exposed us to our enemies in the UN. Stripped of resources and scattered to the winds, we were reduced to a secret, a memory. When the Pandora virus woke up, we should have been the first line of defense. When huge clouds of mist appeared over the sea, when people started vanishing, we should have figured out what was going on. And when those people started coming back, changed, hostile, alien, we should have been ready to fight, but we failed. The ecosystem started to change, imperceptibly at first, then faster and faster. Three factions arose, New Jericho, trying to restore order and purity. Sinedrin, hoping to build a world without hierarchies. And the Disciples of Anu, a new syncretic religion dedicated to adaptation and biological change. At war with the world and at odds with each other, these factions cannot find a way forward. Now the mist is returning and armies are rising from the sea. Without the Phoenix Project, humanity will fall. It's time to rise from the ashes. Humanity is still not united. <clears throat> uh, you randomly started uh, when the game starts. You just randomly get plopped in an area. This is not where I started last time, but uh, yeah, just go, in, go USA, right? I'm totally on board with that. So we got a bunch of resources, we got tech, uh, we got materials, we got food, we got uh, production, well... This affects the speed of uh, producing stuff and uh, research, so we have access to the base, we got a squad. Uh, we can consider making uh, a building here, we cannot make a satellite uplink. Food production... Might be worth considering. I think satellite uplink is the usual go-to, but we actually cannot afford it. We might want to get started with something. <clears throat> uh, we have access to an energy generator, which gives us 20 energy. I think, yeah, the only one. Living quarters uh, gives us uh, a stamina. 
uh, per hour if the guys are standing uh, in the base. 4 HP per hour. Uh, that's just like, you know, the, uh, the soldiers uh, rest and heal up. This is just an emergency escape. Uh, didn't really come up in the tutorial. <clears throat> Uh, research facility is uh, not manned, it's uh, automatic. Satellite uplink allows aircraft to initiate one area scan to locate sites of interest. So I think that plays a big role. Uh, didn't really come up too much, unfortunately. Fabrication plant, yeah. We need to make stuff. And most of all, you need to prepare for fights. So we got this initial squad of four people. Two of them are... I'm cheating. Two of them are assaults. <clears throat> almost said rangers. One is a sniper and one is a heavy. And uh, you can train them in particular ways. And uh, the game is warning me that uh, they can get more stuff now. <clears throat> yes. Getting stuff is what you need. Now there's a little problem with this guy, I feel like. <clears throat> He doesn't have access to spare ammo, but does he need it? Unclear. Uh, he's a heavy, though. Uh, that means if he shoots six times, that's it. So ammo plays a role. Uh, shooting is so much different. You, We got more action points. I think this is better shown rather than said. So that's why I'm a little bit holding off. We definitely need to bring one extra clip, I feel like. And we can bring uh, a med kit. It didn't come up at all. <laughs> uh, previously. At all. Uh, the only, only time it actually came up in the tutorial. The tutorial teaches you how to be a really bad player. I think that's the goal of that. And that's it. We... Don't have any more med kits here. We don't even have any more grenades. Okay, let's just take an extra clip, I guess. Oh, we can take an extra, extra clip. And also, the game has location damage. Uh, let's say he takes one and. Uh, sniper ammo? At least we should take a sniper ammo. So, we are a little bit prepared here. We can take extra, extra ammo. And the thing is with this extra, extra ammo, it's not wasted. Because the uh, soldiers can uh, swap uh, items mid-mission. So, we can start researching this crap. Global Mist, monitoring system available. It's gonna take us six hours. But we will be not sitting on our asses while that is going on. Oh yeah, there's so much to learn here, it, just in case you're foggy on that, uh, like I am. But I, I think we will take some uh, use of this. Uh, but maybe, maybe not right now. So, did I start building something? I, I think, I, yeah, I can start building a food production facility. I don't know if we need that. But it might be nice. We can do a scan. We can just head out. We have unexplored sites. So that's fine for now. But I, I think you need to scan later. So far, we have something to do. Uh, we can just get some food production. I, th I think that might be okay. Although, it might be a waste. Uh, let's just be smart about it. And, you know, we can, we can just get one. So... We can, we can do an area scan, which is gonna cost us uh, uh, 30 materials and uh, 5 tech, but let's just explore. <clears throat> At the Synodrion, haven of uh, Bakunin, the situation is tense. Someone figured out that our open and democratic society would be easy to infiltrate and steal from. One of the Haven citizens tells uh, our operatives they pretended to join us and then made of it some critical research, which I assume they want to sell to another faction. I said 
they made off, but the truth is, they didn't get very far, in fact, they are stuck in the haven. But as you can imagine, this is a strange situation, these people pretended to be our friends, they lived in Bakunin for months, all just to make a profit? I suppose all habits die hard. They could assist uh, Sinadrion with this problem. Let's do it! <sighs> okay, we can actually equip this, so... It takes us a little bit less action points to use it. Um. Okay. 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 Let, let's go like this. Uh, the heavy guy <clears throat> can't do much. Let's deploy the squad. Uh, there are a lot of attributes, and there's just so much to talk about here. But I, I guess we're just gonna get into a fight. Uh, this game. In this game, uh, units have four action points, and they can just use it in whatever order they please. Also, there are like partial action point uses. So, for example, uh, you have let's say sixteen overall. Uh, you can move sixteen tiles overall. That's your speed, and that means every single action point is gonna give you four speed. You know, you can just move four speed with that, that you, but you can also just move one tile, shoot, I don't know, do dumb sh stuff, like reload your gun, then move three tiles. Because you only used up uh, one tile of movement uh, that you spent with one action point. So you can just, just you have a lot of freedom how you uh, order uh, your actions, which is just really damn cool. Anyway... Uh, we are here. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's. Here. Oh. We got the team. In Fred, no. Fred. <laughs> let's go with Fred. We got Haywire. That's good. Eric is cool too. Nikita Pataxa. If my name was Nikita, I would go with Nikita, not Pataxa. Uh, what else we got? Cameron. The dragon beards. Oh my god, really? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, what is this name? Alright, you 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 win. What is this? Uh, Cameron, Fred, Infred No. Oh man, this is like Inferno? Blin? Channel open. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm getting a little <clears throat> uh sidetrack. So we got a sniper, we got a heavy. Heavy, so units have different level of armor affects them in in different ways uh health will willpower is kind of like a special action point almost you can think about it as like mana <laughs> wow kind of but it also like if it goes down then you go crazy so you don't want that I guess it's maybe closer to stamina. <clears throat> Whatever. So, how do we do this? Saving loud and clear. Uh, we can just move a little bit. We don't have to move all the way. But we also want to move to a location that actually is going to give us some cover. So, if you can go there, that would be great. But at the same time... If we do that, uh, we will be in... Heavy cover, but we won't be able to shoot. On the uh, however, if we see someone on the way, then the game actually pauses. So not like, oh, you ran into a whole band. No, if you see someone, you stop right away. And then you react. So that's pretty cool. So no, no committing to very, very dumb uh, situations. Okay, um, actually, let me just... Me just... Uh, one annoyance in this game, um, that the hotkeys are... cannot be changed. A little bit, this is like the... as a console, f uh, first controls, which I'm not a fan of, but, uh, the game is, uh, so cool that, you know what, I'm gonna look past for now. Although, custom hotkeys would be, <coughs> uh, pretty much basic. So, there you have it, game. On the double. So, we got uh, Haywire in the back, Eric. Channel open. Uh, doing a, a bit of a Overwatch. And 
this is a different duel with watch. Uh, that, what you might be used to, just like 360, hit anybody. Uh, not only because the resources are, are, are limited, this is kind of makes more sense. Also, it's like, it's more focused, like, of course you want to use effective range. What's our plan? Uh, we can check out the effective range of the weapons, but maybe it would be more relevant after we actually, uh, got into a fight. Uh, which I believe is gonna happen, uh, damn soon. Just, just stand by, okay? Ready to rumble. Born again, not our kissed. Over here, an enemy. It's unlikely that we're gonna. Okay, they have a really good uh, position. Uh, we don't have our timer here. We can just take our time. Uh, I'm just gonna keep moving up the sniper. Keeping in mind, we got them here. This is something we know about. And that's not a great position. That's not something I'm super keen on engaging. I'll just keep uh, sniping. And uh, for now... Actually, that was a bad call. I should have not... Uh, moving to position. Use the sniper already. Let's just let's just move in a little bit. We're just playing it super safe, but we shouldn't play this safe. But let's just set up an Overwatch because it feels like they might just uh, uh, run into my line of fire. My turn. Oh. <laughs> oh no! What? Poisoned? Fucking got ambushed. Oh my god. My turn. Okay. As you can see, there's location Open damage. Fire. We injured his uh, torso and right arm. And they all play a role. Oh my god, this is bad. Disabled head. That's so bad. No Almost died. Going. This is actually more damage than i taken in my entire... Uh, career in the previous difficulty which lasted like an hour uh, <laughs> but ultimately was lost to some uh, technical difficulties we need to get the fact back wait so this one is not bringing any heals okay that okay yes, I, I fucked up Thieving, loud and clear these people are just uh, sniping from so far it's away. And there are a lot of enemies here. Can we just do a, a jet jump? We might be able to jet jump here. Let's see. Let's now. do it for fun, these. I haven't done this before, but uh, this is a good uh, example of uh, an ability. It costs us willpower to get there. And now we can go for a, a punch. Bash, let's do it. You resisted the punch. This guy is having a really bad time. He's poisoned and bleeding. His head is in... Well, he's not right. He's gonna come over here. We're gonna give him a bit of heal. Um, no. This doesn't have a hotkey. Providing medical attention. Okay, you're fine now. I'm not sure. I'm I'm pretty sure that it it stops bleeds. Okay. We stop the bleed and the poison. And that matters a lot. And yeah, like damage over time effects uh, based on uh, hits are very, very common. So you gotta be careful. If you get, get shot in the gut, you might not die instantly, but just like a real bullet, you're fucked. You, Channel open. You're going to die. Unless you... Unless you take care of that. So Ready we got the sniper here. It would be very good. Like, I'm just gonna show off the, the hits here. So the 
the shot is going to land in the circle. So, there you have it. We can just shoot this guy in the back. Uh, there you can see uh, at the bottom right corner that we deal 110 damage. This guy has 20 armor. So, we can deal 90 damage. And by hitting him over here, he's going to die. Although, there's a chance to miss. We have uh, like a 50 percent chance to hit the inner circle and 50 percent chance to hit the outer circle so there is a chance for miss here that's why we kind of aiming like this and i think the guy is going to die that's good enough and of course we can just move whenever we feel like it unfortunately this tree is just garbage and this guy still has some action points however because we got hit in the head it's disabled. I'm not sure if we can check our own head, but we can check someone else's head. Uh, if I do that, we can zoom in on his head, and we see that if you take, uh, if your head is disabled, you bleed, you lose five willpower, and you also lose twenty max hit points. So that way, if you actually, even if you use the heals. Uh, you, you just can't reach that amount of max HP. So, I, I believe uh, he went down to 120 now. And uh, 140 is our max. Uh, one for sure. I think I may need to consider taking a better position. We have one. Wait. Oh, actually, we can take a shot. Can we do? Oh, man. We can, uh, try to cover this area. Holding position. Channel open. And she... Would have to go and take some heavy cover? That's a light cover. I mean, it's better than nothing. And we will get the chance to shoot, but it's not great. Also, we got, uh, explosives. Let's do this. Disabled head is not helpful. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I, I fuck I fucked up. I forgot, but because you also have to keep in mind line of sight when you're moving. So you're not just trying to find cover, you're just you're trying to find line of sight. In this scenario I, I massively screwed up. Uh because look at this. It shows that in this position, I have line of sight on this person. And, yeah, that's not a problem. Uh, the sniper has line of sight. That's not a problem. We, we don't really know about these guys uh, just yet. Uh, but I think we're gonna start moving the sniper toward an area where she can take uh, now. Uh, cover. Yeah, I mean, I can't do much here. Half cover is better than no cover. Okay. Are they gonna move? They're smart. They, they're not eager to move into Overwatch. If they can help it. Aren't you doing it? Take this. Okay. Uh, he actually has heavy armor. So... It's a little... Less bad. Oh my god, okay. This is uh, a, a lot more... Tense. What happened? Take this. Did he just hit the wall? Looks like trying to kill the sniper, and it's really Here's not working. Get it now. Oh, that's a pistol, right? Because uh, My turn. she shot many, many times. Yeah. Okay, well, the thing is with his gun, even though we... It's, it's very short-ranged. We can come back, maybe. No, we're too far away f to do that. Okay. Uh, 
We don't know if we're gonna be able to see this guy. But I know that we should be able to. I need to definitely move. In a way. Like, the thing is, if I take cover here, they're just gonna shoot me in the ass. There's no good way to take cover. I, I think the only winning move here is to just rush down this guy and maybe... That's plan. She should do that as most of all. We can just start coming close and we're gonna see... Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So we can just uh, see her. And I think at this point I'm just gonna come as close as possible. Maybe take a full cover. That would be great. Uh, can you just move away? Move across for the full cover? I didn't realize that was a full cover here. Okay, I'll just go this way. Target detected. Alright, we see another guy. Uh, not great. Moving. I'll just keep going. And, uh... Yeah, look at that. So we can go for a headshot. He's gonna lose a lot of max HP. I think that might be pretty good. We missed one shot on his head. Uh, might be... Okay, we can make a shot on the same person. But I think after... after that, if I come over here, we can make a shot. At, at there, we can make a shot. Okay, that that's interesting. So we come over. We have two squares of movement left, so I, I come down a little bit. We make the shot from a closer range. Oh no, we can't, because we are in the way. I mean... I guess. I mean, it helps. Oh! Uh, we managed to damage the, the pistol a little bit. Okay... If I go behind the tree... We won't be able to see anybody. Uh, I think a finishing move on this person would be the best. Torso shot... 110 damage, it's, it's a kill move. Okay. Uh, let's just go behind the tree. Heading out. I think you're in a decent spot. And last, we have the heavy. Moving to heavy, um, uh, hard cover, seems like a good choice. Although this guy would flank us, so. Hardcover facing uh, north would be the best, and we don't have that. Uh, we have a uh, four out of six willpower, so we can do more flies, but ah. <sighs> I don't know where to go. I mean, we can go over there, I guess. I mean, we are pretty far away, although, from that location... Yeah, we are spotted. And that's not good. I can just fly. Oh, can I just go there? Huh. There, no one will be able to see me, right? Actually, it's unclear. I just go there. It gives us a decent position. We won't be able to fly. Uh, well, we might be able to fly again. Apparently, we see nobody, which is just fine by me. And that's it for now. Hopefully, uh, he will not get shot. It's heavy cover, so, I mean, it's the best I can do. Ok, 
Okay, shooting the sniper. Taking behind the uh, cover behind the tree was uh, sensible. Although, in this game, cover is not as good. Like, you would want a cover that's like a wall. It just seems like, oh yeah, full cover, I'm going behind You're that. Get it you wanna, you want cover, in a way, like, I, I just need to rethink how the value of cover, because I just see, like, a big shield, and I just like, yeah, fuck it, let's go behind the big shield. But, it's not, not as good. Because, when you, when you look at the shots, like, Sometimes you can hit people behind the tree, but like, it's it's a lot better to take like a, a wall cover and just like pop out of the wall, pop out behind the wall and just shoot him. Of course, like uh, these guys actually take two action points. Uh, we can see like it costs two action points to use the gun. So that's something to keep in mind. So we got the heavy. What I'm hoping for is that if we come over here, we might be able to see somebody. But it seems like, uh, well, no. Well, we know if it is possible to see people, but uh, not so much. Do I have a grenade? I do have a grenade. I think this might be an okay time to use a grenade. I just see others first. So there's a guy who's rushing in, who's stupid. There's a guy in the distance, the guy who's not finished off. The sniper has a pretty good uh, position. That's a pretty good position as well. Uh, he needs to move, Fred, for sure. Uh, not sure where though. I mean, we can just get in range a little bit. Oh, this is range. Okay, we can get in range here, although I suspect that it just looked bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, that, that doesn't work. Okay, get in range properly. I mean, this is... No, <laughs> this is no. Uh, get in range out. properly. Ready to engage. Okay, that, that looks decent now. I mean, I don't really just wanna put put bullets in his torso, but maybe. Uh, I don't have much range anymore. I mean, I mean, we can move move out a, a little bit closer to him. If you wanna go back after, preparing to fire. Then then do it. Okay, now we have a pre pretty decent, uh, uh, look at his torso. Uh, we can just go back. Right there. And that's fine. Channel open. Um, good question. I mean, let's aim it like this. Just, uh, the chance of head with, uh, most of the torso. Yeah, double shot is gonna help a lot. Well, we actually managed to hit the guy behind him. That's so cool. I like that a lot. So this guy is pretty wounded. Can we just hit him with a grenade? Actually, we are not too far off, but I think sufficiently off to make that not viable. Wait, what? Oh, uh, yeah, he doesn't have the gun equipped. There's no way the gun is gonna work. Let me just jump down. Wait, what? Nah, that's not gonna work. We can get a little closer, though. We get a little closer. Oh, we can't see this guy. I was kind of hoping that maybe we're gonna see him. Okay, let's just throw a grenade. Doing it. Okay. Well, he's not too affected by that. 
I'm for now. I think we're just gonna wait. So the sniper possibly, hopefully, can finish off the wounded one. Uh oh. Who are we shooting at? Uh, this guy actually could die and probably should die. And also, they have names, which is awesome. So this is a kill. Well, it, it has a chance of missing, but. Oh! Oh, look at that! He's panicked now! Woohoo! I like that! <laughs> You're a little worried? I have to say that uh, the start of this mission was super choppy. It just like uh, walked into the middle of the map. Okay. <laughs> and like, hey, whoa, get me! And that worked previously when I was playing on Super Noob difficulty. The what? I don't know, the third one, Legend. Uh, but n not on this one. This is a lot more fun. Okay. Uh, pff, I, gu I guess I, I just wait. No, we're not. We're not touching that guy. I would like to just drop down and go for like a. That might work, you know. This is just a uh, one move. Okay, fine. That's what we gotta do next turn. This is a, a well-made turn-based uh, game. I was a little like. I need a moment. I don't know. I was a little concerned early on. Oh crap! Just keep shooting at me with some poison. We don't know. We know that he sees me, but I don't see him. That's our move. Okay. So we can drop down. But will it be enough? Oh my god, this guy's gonna have a bad time. I see them. Wait, what? No. So I can get close to him. There's no nowhere, nowhere to hide. Okay, l let's see the gun. Holy shit, he's dead. <laughs> so this gun deals 180 damage. And he doesn't have that much health. I mean... <laughs> oh man, okay, let's get closer. Moving out. It's... It can miss, but I don't think we're gonna miss from here. Oh yeah, he's... He is probably dead, let's see. Robert, not Killick. He's dead. <laughs> Alright, what else we got? Anyone sees the... the guy? Yeah, but he's, he's hiding big time. Trying to get a shot on him is gonna be damn difficult. Uh, can a sniper do it? Uh, not, not you. Haywire. Haywire can? Can see him? Let's do this. Okay, let's, let's try to make the shot. If someone can make the shot, it should be the sniper. Oh, shot man. Wide. Okay. Moving now. What's our plan? Hmm... It's probably better to make double shots. I don't think conserving ammo is that important. Even though it's important. But that was an excellent shot. Wow, this guy is, uh... <laughs> very, very, very much chilling here. What the hell? He's not concerned about one thing. <clears throat> uh, pff, I don't know. Like, first of all, we need to get into a position where we can hit him, and also, he doesn't really hit us. Uh, that's not great. Oh, that's that's amazing. Uh, but, uh, I mean, I guess we're going there. So, let's just take a shot. Uh, by the way, I think he's bleeding, right? No? He's not bleeding, he's just wounded all over his body. Except his legs, so we're on the way. Oh uh, yeah, he's gonna get shot. But I think he's uh, mostly scared now. Not as scared. He's kinda tanky, so... I'm ready. Uh, can I just take him out? Channel open. Let's do a sniper shot. Ready to fire. Ooh, he's dead. Um, not necessarily, but very likely. Are we good? 
special mission is complete. Uh, injured, unmodified, and leveled up. I mean, it was a tough mission, okay? I really like getting injured. First time it happened. Go back to Geoscape. <laughs> so, uh, make a note. Don't waltz into the middle of the map. If you don't want to die. Maybe I just kind of even got lucky that I didn't die. Most of the interesting fa- oh. Hi there. My name is Athena. And I'd like to thank you on behalf of Synedrion as a whole. You know, outsiders sometimes think of Synedrion as a bunch of naive, helpless people living in a big bubble. And I know we can appear that way. But the truth is, we are more like a powder keg. Trying to build a truly democratic society without hierarchies involves a lot of arguing. The terraformers want one thing, the polyphonic tendency another. Zara clashes with Nikolai, Stas tries to keep everyone calm, every haven has a totally different set of priorities, and then something like this happens. What? Alien invasion? You gotta get your priorities in order. How about alien invasion first? I'm being honest about our flaws, because I think crazily enough, the whole thing works. We've built something remarkable, given everything we've been through, and the Phoenix Project could help us really make a difference on this wretched planet. Think about it, please. We have a lot in common, and here's your payment. We believe in people being rewarded for their labor. Ah, you speak my language! I like you already! It sounds like you may have an okay system because everyone is unhappy with it. Uh, thank you! Oh, You're welcome. I hope we can work together again. Ah, uh, yeah, I like money. Oh, what is that? Replenish soldiers? Oh, fuck. I... I, I Oh, I, I didn't do that. What did I... I used up a grenade and I used up a med, med thingy. So I can manufacture it. It's probably best that I didn't auto-manufacture it so we can have the, the chance of manufacturing it. We see that the rifle that the assaults are using is cost eight, 80 minerals, m materials. Uh, the mag for it is one-tenth the price. That's a little bit of tech, too. That's kind of like, yeah. Hell Cannon, Cypher Mag, uh, and move with the pistol, uh, Sniper Rifle, Med Kit. I, I, I suppose we should just get a Med Kit. Last thing we need is dying. Oh, it, it it's instant. We get it instantly, or I, I think so. Uh, a grenade. A grenade is 12. So an entire magazine. I think I, I, think I still want a grenade. Okay, I mean, sure. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's level up. Let's see what we got. All attacks that damage a target also inflict one viral damage per bullet. Uh, we can look up viral damage. Is it virus damage? <laughs> viral? No, it's virus damage. I guess they uh, can decide. <clears throat> if a weapon inflicts at least some standard damage, then a virus damage values of the weapon is added to the target's virus value. Virus damage can accumulate from multiple attacks. At the start of the affected character's turn, its value is subtracted from will points. Ooh! Then the virus level reduces by one. Over multiple turns, the virus level will fall to zero, but the victim will panic if it his will fall to zero. Standard med kits have no effect on virus damage. Ooh. Uh, now, the thing is here that the top the top 
uh, line of abilities are based on class. And the bottom, as far as I can tell, although we got Sniper here, it's random. So now we have level 2, Overwatch cost reduced by 1 AP. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's fine. So now we have 50 uh, skill points and we have a choice of what the hell we want. So I think what I want is to deal, gain Sniper Rifle proficiency. But we already had Sniper Rifle Proficiency, but this gives us 25% extra damage with it, but we lose 4 Willpower. And we only have 6 Willpower. I mean, losing 4 Willpower is a big deal. But I, I think it's still gotta be worth it, if you just chill back. So we're gonna go for that. Active abilities for now. And in order to offset the willpower loss, I'm just gonna put put some points into willpower. We're not offsetting it completely, but like trying to mitigate the damage uh, that has been done. And the SP does goes up and up, so not like I can just put a bunch of points into willpower uh, very cheaply. So that's one level up, and we got Cameron Dragon Beards. And she doesn't have an extra uh, tier 1 ability, level 1 ability. Dash? Okay. Dash is an ability, I'm familiar with this. Uh, that gives you uh, a way to move. Gives you like 2 action points worth of movement. For the cost of 4 willpower. Additional 2 willpower and 10% sure rage. Ooh. That seems pretty good. That actually helps with uh, dash quite a bit because we need willpower to use dash. So let's go with Farsighted. That makes her an excellent spotter. Cameron Dragon Beards. Uh, and we gotta be at 8 willpower. Uh, let's just go 1 extra willpower. And. Uh, our speed is, I believe, at 16 because of the armor. So 16 speed and uh, 9 willpower. So even if you use dash twice, we're gonna be okay. Although we might wanna add more willpower to it. Although more health. I mean, that's always decent. Like, you know, let's just go for more health. I think why not? Uh, as a soldier, uh, she's probably gonna see some action. And that's it beat these guys. The sniper is just uh, dealing damage. I mean, this is, this seems sensible. Uh, we can't build anything else. We are researching already, although we can add more to it. We can get some um, pff, attack, I guess. So we did that. And after a fight, your guys are wounded, tired. So in order to deal with that, also maybe lacking equipment uh, in this scenario, although the game did offer me to replenish automatically I didn't take it yeah, he can't take it because he doesn't have the strength to do it uh, 14 having a a med kit is better than another grenade uh, but, you know, take another grenade if you can. <laughs> so that's it. Okay, I think we are as ready as we can be for the next engagement. But before that, we have to go back to base. And Haven Info. We can raid their factory, raid their research uh, center. We know about their population, their status, uh, whatever. Just a lot of stuff that probably don't make too much sense uh, currently. So we're researching, and I don't want to area scan. I think yet. Research complete. Okay. So we can keep chilling, and the guys need time to heal up. It's kind of taking a little bit long. Research complete. So we got uh, a tech. 
What's next? Sinedrian was built on a dream. A world without hierarchies, without leaders, where human beings could embrace the potential of technology without its destructive side effects. The radicals of the old world had been proven right. The status quo could not sustain itself. But what now? What was the next step? Some argued for coexistence with the Pandoran ecosystem, hoping for a peaceful solution. Others advocated putting humanity before nature and claiming the planet for themselves. Trusting in the safety of their havens, the people of Sanhedrin argued about the best way forward. But the Pandora virus had little interest in their arguments, and its power was still growing. Okay. Whoa. That, that seems like something we gotta look out for. Okay. Phoenix Archives. We can now recruit soldiers from Havens and a bunch of encrypted files. And it seems like we are ready to head out with uh, the squad. It would be, yeah, it would be ideal if we got more squad members. So, yeah, I can uh, switch between them. But yeah, I, I mean, wait. We have no bullets. Oh, this game is just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> she actually doesn't have a full clip. I don't know, like... How, how do I deal with this? Some weapons are not fully loaded. Can I get just extra ammo? Okay. Now she has full ammo. Really? Seems like a bit of a stretch. Okay, what what happened here? Empty. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. But wow, really. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it for now. Uh, definitely gonna play more of this. And uh, yeah, see you next time.